What interesting news out of the Vancouver Canucks and Patrick Alvine on this Thursday night. I just got home from ball hockey. Admittedly, I didn't play all too well, but we ended up winning a few games in a row, so that was nice to see. But upon finishing everything up and ridding myself of the sweaty performance, I checked my phone, looked at the notifications, and I saw that the Vancouver Canucks made themselves a signing, announcing today that the club has agreed the terms with defenseman Christian Felton on a one-year entry-level contract. Here is the graphic, and then there is the article as well, posted onto the Vancouver Canucks website. Let's go out there and read this, and then we'll actually acknowledge who Christian Felton is and what he's done so far. Vancouver Canucks GM Patrick Alvin announced today the club has agreed to terms with Felton on a one-year ELC. We are happy to have Christian join our organization, said Alvin. We brought him into our development camp last summer and have kept a close eye on his progress. We look forward to working with him and helping Christian adjust to things as he starts his pro hockey career. Felton, 24 years old, recently completed his senior college season with the Merrimack College Warriors, recording seven points and four penalty minutes in 26 games. He established personal bests in goals and points at the college level and led the team in blocked shots with 55. The 6'1", 190-pound right shot defenseman has appeared in 98 games at the NCAA level, split between Merrimack College and Bentley University, posting 17 points and 44 penalty minutes. Prior to beginning his college career, the Medina, Ohio native played 50 games in the BCHL with the Vernon Vipers, where he recorded 15 points and 16 penalty minutes. So, right away when you're acknowledging the profile that Christian Felton has as an NCAA defender and BCHL defender, Right away, it stands out to you that this guy hasn't really been like the hottest of all point producers in the collegiate scene. This year he had seven points, the year before he had six, and then four, and then zero. So Christian Felton really isn't a high-flying offensive guy. Even in the BCHL, when he was 20 years old, he had 15 points in 50 games played. But for a guy who was an undrafted player, he was born in 2000, so he would have been eligible for the 2018 NHL entry draft. And of course, I know that because that's my draft year. But Christian Felton, back in his draft eligible year, was playing in the USHS Prep School League. He stayed in the Prep School League for his draft plus one. In his draft plus two season, he went to the BCA show, and then he completed four years in the NCAA. So this really is a journeyman of all journeymen, and based off of the profile, this isn't really a guy the Vancouver Canucks are signing because they think he's going to be the next Adam Fox or whatever. Let's go out there and try to read some reports about Christian Felton, because the very interesting thing is, if you look on Google, if you look on Twitter, you try to find information about this guy right here, I mean, Jabbo Hockey goes out there and sums it up pretty nicely. Apparently, there is little to no information out there on Christian Felton. If he makes it to the NHL, he may be the truest of all diamonds in the rough, and the amateur scout responsible for finding him may deserve a statue in their honor. There is almost nothing published online about Christian Felton, which made my job a little bit difficult because I'm unfortunately not watching too many Merrimack Warriors games this season, but there was some research to be had here. So let's go out there and try to see what others have gone out there and said. Dave Hall, Canucks Army prospect guru Dave Hall, went out there and said that Christian Felton, who is number two on the team, contributed seven points and 55 block shots across 26 games as a junior with Merrimack. Here are a few highlights that show some active stick work, a willingness to put his body in front of shots, a nice assist, and a goal. And included is a highlight package where... Mary Mack, who is the yellow team, obviously, is blocking shots. Christian Felton, number two on your screen, is indeed part of that. He's disturbing the offense of the opposition. He's diving in front of pucks. He's blocking guys. I don't want to say Chris Tanev just because that's the easy comparable to go out there and say, but there is a defensively minded presence out of this guy who happens to be a right-handed defenseman. And just from that profile alone, you know, there is some intriguing stuff to acknowledge here. Canucks Insider went out there and said that Christian Felton averaged over 22.30 per game this season and spent a lot of time on the penalty kill. He had two games with seven-plus shorthanded minutes time on ice this season. He attended Canucks Development Camp this past fall, and he's a former BCHLer. Here are some goals which 
admittedly have come few and far between. He only has three goals this season, two goals last year, and then two goals the year before that. But even with the very limited offensive sample, there still is a good amount of defensive coverage that Christian Felton does provide. Further to this, you had yourselves the R Canucks thread, wherein It's No Scopes posted the update that the Canucks ended up signing this guy. Here's a comment that I wanted to read to you from NY Mullets. Hi Canucks fans, Mary Mac fan slash alumni dropping by to give you a quick and biased scouting report. Christian Felton first came to Merrimack three years ago as a transfer from Bentley, another college in Massachusetts in the Atlantic Hockey Division, not Hockey East, and Felton didn't see the lineup much for his first few games. He eventually went out a spot and carved a role for himself on a sneaky good bottom pair. He had a solid, under-the-radar year that season. His next season, he took a huge step forward and played top minutes for a terrific Merrimack team that was a bounce away from winning Hockey East and made it to the NCAA tournament. He was named to the Hockey East All-Tournament team with Lane Hudson. This year, he was leaned on heavily in the first half, but the team faced a lot of injury trouble, and Feltz also missed the final nine games of the season with an injury. The main thing I want to say about Christian Felton is that he's gotten so much better every year. He's always been solid physically, but the past two years he broke out at the college level as a guy who can chip in on the rush, get back, and be terrific defensively. We'll see how that translates to the pros, but he has a fun skill set to watch, with some areas to work on. But we're very happy for a now former Warrior. Sounds like he's on an ATO this year with Abbotsford and his ELC kicks in next year, and yes, he is right-handed. So at the end of the day, this is a guy who, if you talk about his progression, he came from nothing. The USHS Prep School League, as far back as his 19-year-old year, eventually going over to Junior A Hockey in BC in his 20-year-old year, and then played four years in the NCAA. This is a guy who, growing and getting better every single season to become a 20-plus minute defenseman and a top penalty-killing guy... He really does have that pure Chris Tanev profile if you really wanted to push it. Like, of course, I'm not going to say that he's going to be the next Tanev, but just there are a lot of things here that align with that profile that we had seen out of Tanev when he was initially an NCAA free agent signee by the Vancouver Canucks a decade and a bit ago. So, for Christian Felton, it's actually pretty good, I think, that the Vancouver Canucks signed this guy in particular, considering that they did have him in their development camp earlier last summer, how there seems to have been some sort of a focus here. They may have told him, hey, work on this, get better at this, we'll check in with you once your season is over, and if you're good, then we'll sign you. And it seems like Patrick Alvin and Jim Rutherford really did go out there and fulfill their promise here. So... Christian Felton, everybody, another one of these guys that the Vancouver Canucks has added from the NCAA scene. You've got the Akito Hiroses, you've got the Cole McWards, you've got Christian Felton now. We'll see where exactly these free agent signees go for Patrick Alvin and Jim Rutherford, but for now, the Mary Mac Men's Hockey Twitter account went out there and said that, hey, you're getting a good one, Vancouver. Congrats to assistant captain Christian Felton on signing his first pro contract with the Vancouver Canucks. So this is the guy right here. He is officially signed, and he's a guy who, if everything pans out, we could maybe be looking at a bottom-tier penalty-killing defenseman who's got some good value on that role. Not going to say he's going to be the most important guy in the world, but hey, NCAA free agents are literally free agents. You don't have to give up anything to sign them. So we'll see where Christian Felton goes in the Vancouver Canucks system, if he goes over to Abbotsford first, and then if he's able to work himself up to a Vancouver Canucks role sometime soon. Who knows? It's a a long shot from here on out for any free agent, but this is a pretty good opportunity to start with. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Vancouver Canucks signing Christian Felton to a one-year ELC. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll show you all and bye.